Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't smashed that subscribe button, go ahead and smash it right now. Here's a video that was just posted on social media depicting a two-on-one with a weapon, right? Your typical, typical stabbing in prison is what that is, right? So, I'm going to give it to you guys raw, right? I'm going to give it to you guys raw, uncut, from my perspective as a lieutenant who worked for the California Department of Corrections for 16 years, where this actually looks like it transpired. Looking at the housing unit, looking at what the inmates are wearing. Here we go. As you can see, they are clearly stabbing that individual by their downward stabbing motions. They are not kicking him or punching him. They're straight stabbing that dude, right? They're, they're, they're with the business. They are with the business. There's no doubt that they're Mexicans by their shaved head. You see two officers shaking their can. Well, what are they doing, Hector? Holy crap. Oh, you know what? Now that I think of it, he's looking over his left shoulder because he's looking at the gunner, right? So he's looking at the gunner. What are they doing, Hector? Why aren't they getting in there and pulling them off? Well, officer safety. Officer safety, officer safety, officer safety, right? Contrary to what the department wants to push, we still got to remain safe. What is the procedure? The procedure is exactly that, what they're doing. Forming a skirmish line, right? A skirmish line is uh, an individual or more, right? Shoulder to shoulder and observing the incident from a safe distance, right? That pepper spray could definitely reach from there. For sure. That's an MK9 OC spray. Should the gunner be shooting? Yeah, the gunner should be shooting. Red, right, red. When I first saw this video, because I had already seen it prior, you, that dude's wearing a white shirt. If you look, it is now pink, pink, right, red, right? I was looking for the red when I first happened, right? Pay attention to these comments on the side over here. One of them saying, that's crazy. Officers was just standing there watching them stab him. All right. Well, there are options. Definitely options right here. That control booth is armed with a mini 14, right? He clearly has the green light to shoot one of these individuals, right? Center mass or both, right? Depending on the situation, if they continue. But what about the outrage? What about the uproar? What about the family members? Oh, my son was brutally shot by a correctional peace officer in prison. They are all part of the green wall. They are, well, this is, I'm glad I'm here to tell you guys the truth, right? What you have is you have one victim. That dude's getting stabbed up for sure. Why? I don't know. It can be a debt. The dude could have rang up so much drugs debt for even from another race which would you get to really get you in a jam, <laughs> really get you in this predicament right here. He could have ran up so much money that he was unable to pay, right? Unable to have his family put the money on the books. And well, they got him. They got him. They got him. They got him. So they sent two dudes to remove him with weapons. It, it, this really looks like an attempted murder for sure. Attempted murder. So they're going to, they're attempting to kill this dude, right? More than likely, they got that. The two suspects have dope inside of their ass, right? And I'm telling you guys, Everything is I'm shooting it as I see it, right? They got dope in their ass because when, when they go to the hole, right? When they go to ADSIG, considering if they don't get shot right here, then they will be able to take what they got to the back, right? Referred to as the back, the hole, administrative segregation. Sometimes there's very important people back there. Sometimes they appreciate a little bit of cut, if you know what I mean, right? No harm, no foul. Well, actually, this is a lot of harm. This is an attempted murder, right? Two on one. So, tap in on the comments below. Would you guys rather see the officer stand there and do nothing? Or would you rather have the gunner shoot and kill one or both of the suspects, right? Because that in itself is Monday morning quarterback. We shouldn't even be having this discussion, right? Graham versus Connor. Case law. Wow, can't wait till this goes to IERC. Well, here we go. Finally, they look at the gunner. They're like, oh, this dude's brand new. Man, he, he is not in Starbucks anymore. He doesn't get it, right? He doesn't get it and or I don't know. I'm not up there, right? I can't. See. This dude is probably, let me tell you, your boy was a control booth officer from time to time. He has to open that back door for responding staff to come, 
right? So this dude is having to do double duties, triple duties. He more than likely activated the alarm, got on the radio, central control, be advised, I have two on one with weapons, A section, housing unit two, cresting a code one response, ASAP, activate 911. Dude seen red, right? Now, look what, that's probably why he wasn't shooting. I wasn't there. I'm not in the homie's boots, right? Has to go open the back door, right? Let the people in, the troops, the cavalry, as they call it. They're on them, they're on them, they're on them. And I told you guys, man. All right. The dude is red, the victim. It looks like he just picked up a weapon, is now working one of the suspects. Check this out. Oh, yeah. I saw the glimmer. I saw the shine. Shimmer and shine. My daughter watches that show. Wow. Um, now, check this out. Crazy or not, it's the truth. It's the truth, and this is how it goes down in the Department of Corrections. That victim now just became a suspect. Now he will be charged. Oh, Hector, that's messed up. He's just defending himself. Yes, yes, and yes. But initially, when they gaffle this dude up, when they gaffle him up, they're going to gaffle him up for attempted murder. Check this out. He just hit the dude in the neck. Boom, he's hitting the dude right here, man. Right here. Right Oh, his homie came. Jesus Christ. Right? Remember what I told you? That control booth officer was opening the back door. All right? Now the, now the control booth officer probably does not have a shot now because of the green staff. You are not going to risk shooting a member in green. You're not even going to risk shooting an unparticipating un, un inmate in blue if you do not have a clear shot. That's for damn sure. The guy just said, this is cracking, nigga. This is prison cuz. Quote. No. Nigga. Oh, said it again. I like how the homie was just walking up the stairs, like just minding his own business. That's. My, the dude was minding his own business. Doesn't concern him either which way or the other, right? Looking at the control booth. Hey, man, hold up. I'm opening up the back door. Can't you hear me? Damn it. All right, shaking that pepper spray can like I told you guys. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Dousing both of those. Oof. Yeah, wow, I told you guys, man, that is intense, that is intense, that is intense, right? What are we going to do? Well, I don't know, what are we going to do? You tell me. That is a two-on-one stabbing. This guy over here put COs ain't shit for that. But dude ass was probably a chomo rat or bad paperwork. I doubt that. I doubt that because you don't have to be any of those to get hit like that, right? <laughs> You could disrespect the wrong individual and get hit like that. I already told you, you could ring up a debt and get hit by it like that. You can steal something and get hit like that, right? So there you guys have it, folks. Live and uncut. Tap in on the comments how you feel about a normal day, normal day in prison, right? Let me know if you think the Norway project would help something like this, right? Let me know if you think the Norway project, maybe if we gave them pooch program, maybe if we put some Fresno Bulldogs on the yard, that might calm them down, right? Who knows, right? Keep pushing forward.